2021 is the 100th anniversary of the poppy in Canada. The uh, poppy actually has been known as a symbol of remembrance for well over 100 years though. In fact, it's known that uh, during the Napoleonic Wars, the poppy which grows in profusion in the uh, northeastern area of France called Flanders, uh, blanketed many of the graves so the poppy is not new to remembrance. Now, it came to prominence in the Commonwealth through the uh, poem in Flanders Fields, written in 1915 by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae, who was a medical doctor, and uh, the poem was written by him on a brief break from surgery while the shells whistled overhead to the front in the heat of battle. It uh, became very, very well known. Uh, it was published in the same year, 1915, in England. It developed a, a hearty following, may I say. The poppy came to prominence in France when a woman named Madame Anna Guerin, uh, actually inspired by McRae's poem, decided to use the poppy to help rebuild uh, for portions of France that were destroyed in the, in the First World War and to help uh, people who were made homeless and destitute by that, uh, by that same thing. Uh, she made cloth poppies and raised funds by distributing them for donations, much the same way the poppy is being used today. And actually, in 1920, she uh, made a presentation to the uh, Great War Veterans Association in uh, what at that time was Port Arthur and is now Thunder Bay. And uh, in 1921, the Great War Veterans Association adopted her concept as their symbol of remembrance. And in, uh, today in Canada, of course, the poppy is worn throughout the remembrance uh, por portion of the year from the last Friday in uh, October right through to Rem Remembrance Day on November 11th. But the poppy may also be worn at other times. It's often worn uh, in remembrance at funerals for veterans or uh, other occasions when someone wants uh, to make uh, special uh, remembrance of a veteran or someone who did sacrifice for, for Canada. Through an act of Parliament in 1948, uh, the Canadian government uh, gave the Royal Canadian Legion, well they were the Canadian Legion at that time, the right to use the poppy as their remembrance trademark. Uh, it's a copywritten trademarked item and uh, the Legion looks at that as a sacred trust to make sure that the poppy in Canada is used only for remembrance. The poppy is supposed to be worn on the left breast uh, higher than any other decoration or anything else that may be worn with it. Nothing should be higher than the poppy. And the poppy is traditionally a red flower with a black center. It's uh, designed uh, specifically to reflect the wild poppies that do grow in Flanders in France. People often miss the peace part of the poppy. Now, of course, yes, the poppy is designed and is a symbol of the sacrifice of our fallen. And of course, yes, it all is also a symbol of honor we pay to our serving and our fallen military members. But it's more than that. The poppy also is a symbol of peace. And I'm sure you can appreciate that all the uh, veterans and our fallen who sacrificed themselves did not do that in the cause of war. They weren't fighting for more war, they were fighting for peace. And that's something that people often don't think about when they think about the poppy. It's really important to remember that the poppy's purpose is really peace through remembrance. And that's what our fallen have fought and died for. And that's what the poppy represents.